Okay, here we are for an unboxing for another lava lamp. Different situation when we can't really put it on the floor like a Blu-ray or something. Look what they gave me. Oh, I gotta make sure there's nothing wrong for markings on the side. Um, I don't think there is. No. So, alright. Well, they gave me a target box. A big giant target box. And um, the reason why that kind of pisses me off is, is because such a big thing to open, but they had to keep it secure and all of that. So, let's take it apart, shall we? Okay. At least I'm prepared with the scissor this time, even though sometimes you don't even sometimes you don't even need the whole scissor. You can just rip it open. Let's hope that's the case. Okay. Oh man, they put a lot of tape. Ah. I wish it was much easier than this. This box is so destroyed, I can never reuse it anyways. This is the one thing I hate. Okay, this is screw it, yeah. I, ow, paper cut. Okay. So, they did put a lot of packaging. This was a very expensive lava lamp, so, damn well, that was one thing of packaging. More packaging, more, more packaging, more packaging, more packaging, more packaging, more packaging, more packaging, holy fuck, shit, more packaging, uh, I've never seen someone put as much packaging stuff in anything I've bought, I've bought an expensive things just like this before. Holy crap. More packaging. More packaging. More packaging. Okay. More packaging. That's it. Alright, so here we go. We've got the 17 inch alien lava lamp. This is what I call something very rare and expensive because they don't sell this model of a lava lamp anymore. Um, and the difficulty getting it to me is you have to ship it ground shipping because UPS does not allow you to throw liquids out there in an airplane and stuff like that, including the Postal Service. I'm actually lucky because um, I, I would have wanted the Postal Service to, to deliver it. All right, they said brand new. Now one thing I have to be a little controversial about is that there's no tape seal in the top of this. That's my question. We'll see. They said it was brand new and sealed. Yeah, alright. Looks like this is wrapped up. Yeah, this is, this is definitely brand new and sealed. I guess they had to make sure the lava lamp was inside, so they had to break the top seal. <laughs> okay, now um, we're going to show you the base of the lava lamp. Now this is a pretty unique one. I don't know why they stopped selling things like this. They can make a lot of money. Probably even more money if they sold it again. Ow. And remember, if somehow this base were to break, you still have other bases you could use um, from the 17 inch lava lamps. So you don't have to, you just won't have that colorful green on the bottom anymore. Okay. So it's just made in China. Nothing we can do about that. Um. Here's the, the tip of it, well, here's the side, here's the green for the lava lamp and all that, green. Um, here's the tip, this is where the alien is on the top, and um, I'm going to see what it looks like. It's going to be green and stuff, but um, I can't show you the lava obviously. I'll make a video later on tonight when it's warmed up so I can show people what it looks like. But um, here's the little, the little alien face. There's nothing behind that. Um, lift this up. This is the inside. All right, the bulb is already in it. I had a defective bulb from this company, Lava, I think it was. It was the last lava lamp. So let's hope that the bulb isn't defective this time around. I do have extras, though. So, whatever. you got to make sure not to touch it. That's probably why I blew it out. But I have plenty of extras. I don't even remember what exactly what wattage this one was. I think it was a two, I think it's a 40. 
So, okay, let's take out the big boy. Okay, you got it's all in more packaging. Um, nobody gives you um, packing slips anymore, by the way, because that's just the thing they don't do anymore. Okay. Here's the one thing that kind of pisses me off and is you always got to worry about these bottles that hold the lava and all the stuff in them. So we have some other ones. We got 17 piece inch release. No, 17 inch piece lava lamp, 17 inch zombie, 17 inch galaxy. I like the galaxy one. The 17 inch lava. That's a woman's lava lamp probably. Well, these were all released in the 16 time period, so that means 2016 was when this lava lamp was around. So you add four to that. This is about five, six years old, this lava lamp. That's probably why it's not available anymore. See, it's green. Just like the aliens. <laughs> What's, what are they doing to us? Don't touch. That's like a soda cap, essentially. That's exactly what it is. Don't touch it. You'll screw everything up. You put it down into this. Voila. Pretty neat, right? Then you put Mr. Alien on top of it. You'll see this much easily at night when I take the video. But um, that's how it's going to be. That's all there is to it be. Um, then you got to take the tie off the plug. I have these all set on a timer and stuff. So when I turn them all on, they go all on at the same time. It's a lot easier than flicking this switch to all of them, especially when you don't have a lot of room to look at them. So, what would I rate this? Well, I have no idea. I can't rate anything until I figure out what it's all about. But I can tell you that this was an extremely hard lava lamp to get. The guy sold one more of the, I'm not the guy, someone else sold one more of these on eBay, but it was from before. So who knows, maybe they'll pop up again. And, but this isn't even called Alien Lava Lamp. When you look right on here, it says, Actually, no, there really isn't. No, there's no official name for it. That's pretty bad. All right, Alien. Spencer's Alien Lava Lamp. Lava, white, liquid clear, item 4271, and yes, the 40-watt light bulb was winning. It. And it was 2016 to confirm it. If you don't believe me, look at all that on there. All right, well, that's it. And you want to take, I'm going to put this to the side for a second. Let's take one look at, last look, at all this packaging I've got. Oh boy. <laughs> this is a lot of, lot of stuff, but since the value of the item, that's probably why the guy put so much packaging, guy or girl put so much packaging into it. Alright. Bye bye.